Hello friends, welcome back to program with Akshay and in today's video we are going to start the part 2 of AWS CDK and which is nothing but the environment setup for AWS CDK. In part 1 we have seen the introduction for AWS CDK where we have covered objectives, the prerequisites and the overview of CDK. So in the objectives what is CDK, why we are using AWS CDK, what is AWS CDK, what is what are what is the difference between AWS CDK and other infrastructure as code tools. So you can revisit the previous video. I will give you the link in the description. You can have a look and let's continue on the part two series. So let's begin with the part two of our masterclass for AWS CDK. In this part, we are going to start with our environment setup. In environment setup, we are going to see various steps. The first step is going to, we are going to install our Node.js. So we are going to install our Node.js exe. Why we are using Node.js? Because we are creating the various programs, we are creating various infrastructure with the help of Node.js. Okay, so once we will install Node.js, we will check the Node.js version. After that, we will going to going to install the AWS CLI. Why we are going to use AWS CLI? Because AWS CLI is nothing but the command line interface which interacts with your AWS uh, console or AWS account. Okay. After that, we are going to set up the profile on the machine. So we are going to create an IAM user, maybe a serverless admin. And after creating the IAM user, we are going to configure the, the IAM user on, on your laptop or on your PC on Mac, Windows and OS. The main prerequisite is install the VS code. We are going to do all the all the programs with, with the help of VS code uh, tool. And then the last but don't, do not the least, we are going to install the AWS CDK. So let's start. So to install Node.js, go to google.com and just type on the search bar Node.js download and click on the first URL where you will be redirected to, to the Node.js uh, site where you have Windows installer, Mac, Mac OS installer and so on and so forth. So for me, it is a Windows installer. If you are a Mac OS, uh, uh, having a Mac OS laptop, you can download the 32-bit or 64-bit. So if you are a Windows, if you have Windows 10 or Windows 11, click on the Windows installer and click on 64-bit. I have already had downloaded the Node.js installer and I have already had the Node.js install on my machine. So once you download the Node.js, just install, click next, 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 and maybe you can install on your C drive. Depending upon your OS, if you have a Mac OS, then install a 64-bit, or if you are Windows, install the 32 or 64-bit. For me, I have installed the 64-bit because I am, I am having a Windows Windows machine or Windows laptop. So I already have a Node.js installed on my computer. So once the Node.js installation is done, fire up the command prompt and inside the command prompt just type node hyphen hyphen version which will give you the the, the version of the node.js if you are installing the node.js version this will be higher because this is the lower version which i have installed and that's about it so once you have installed node.js the next thing is we are going to download the aws cli why we need aws cli because aws cli is a package where we can communicate with our aws services we can write, write scripts we can automate the scripts we can create the infrastructure as code with the help of aws cli for example if you type a command like aws describe s3 so whatever the s3 buckets which are there under your aws region those will get described or those will get displayed that is why we are using aws cli so to install aws cli just in google type aws cli the first link from amazon will get displayed and just click on that link and the, all the necessary steps from the documentation just refer that and install your aws cli depending upon your operating system like if you have linux if you have mac os and if you have windows just follow the instructions uh, just download the msi software or exe for windows and just click and just install the aws cli on your machine or on your laptop if you have mac os then just follow the steps and follow the instructions which are there on the aws documentation and your aws cli will get installed after installing the aws cli again fire up the command prompt and just to check whether the aws cli or aws is installed or not so 
AWS CLI is installed on my machine. I've already installed the AWS CLI. Please note, this is the older version of AWS CLI. You might be having the higher version once you install the AWS CLI, but don't worry. So if the, the previous version and the newer version, there are little bit more updates on the newer version. So it's better to update the AWS CLI version if you have already uh, the old version already exists in your machine or in your laptop. So after installing Node.js, after installing AWS CLI, the next step, we are going to create an IAM user. So log into an AWS account. And after logging to AWS account, we will hope we will go to IAM services and inside the IAM services, we will create a user name, name any user called a serverless admin or, or AWS CDK example and so on and so forth. Why do we need an IAM user? Okay. So if you create an IAM user and assign the user as administrative privileges and those IAM users will have the administrative access and that administrative access will have an access key and the password okay we will download that access key and password on our machine in the downloads folder and we will fire up the command called as aws configure so once you once you fire up the command called aws configure in your machine in your in your folder in your c drive in the users folder the uh, the aws will create a folder called as dot aws inside that dot aws we will have something called as config config file and inside the config file and credentials file you will have the default region you will have your access key and you will have the secret uh, secret secret password okay and that access key and that secret pa password is is very useful or or it is very important once we start writing the code so if we create an infrastructure if we create a lambda on our machine and we and we say on from the vs code or from the visual studio deploy this aws lambda to 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 our aws account so this aws access key and your password will help you to establish a connection between your aws account and your local machine so once you push your push your code or once you push your services to the aws account with the help of your aws access key and aws password the infrastructure will get created in your aws account that is why we need that particular user and that particular username and password to establish the connection between our local machine and with the help of an aws account so that is why we are creating the aws user in the in the aws account so let's create an IAM user so to create an IAM user go to IAM services and after going to IAM services click on create user there we go name it as AWS hyphen CDK hyphen demo just click on next we will attach the policies and we will assign the administration access this is not the best practice to any user to assign the permission administrator access okay but for this for this particular master class i am giving the this particular user as administrator access okay click on next and your user will get created after the user will get created we will go to that user inside the user we have something tab called as security credentials and inside the security create credentials we will now generate an access key which will have the which, is, which will have the access key and the password okay so just click on next and create access key so the, which we are having an access key which is nothing but your user id and the secret access key which is nothing but your password so you can download this the csv file and you can keep it in your downloads folder so so after downloading the uh, the the access key which is which which is having your access key and the secret access key fire up the command prompt okay go to the downloads folder and just type aws configure okay now here after typing the aws configure your it will have it will it will it will pick your aws uh, secret access key and your and your password and your default region okay just you have to press enter and after for the password also also you have to press enter and for the default region it will take us east one you have to press again enter and and for the default format the default format is json just press press enter don't don't type anything and your aws credentials file will get generated under aws folder 
so i already have my configured my my username and password in my machine so i am not going to repeat that step so once you once you configure you are ready to go and you are ready to deploy your infrastructure on your aws account good job so once you configure your aws uh, aws access key and your uh, your secret password for after configuration inside the inside the c drive there is the uh, there is a folder called as aws where you can see your config file and you can see the credentials file if you open that file it will have your access key id which is nothing but your user id and the password and the default region so after configuring the aws cli after setting up the configurations the next step is we are going to download a visual studio code we will be doing all the all the all the programs or all the all the coding coding practicals in the visual studio code editor so you need to have a visual studio code editor so download the visual studio code editor go to google just type vs code and the first link on the first link go to vs studio code and you can download the visual studio code for windows and for mac os and just follow the step and install the visual studio code on your on your laptop so the last and the final step which is very most important to install aws cdk okay so to install aws cdk just on google type install aws cdk and we will do it displayed the first link from amazon and just open the link first link and we have the amazon documentation where we are have we can see there is version 2 the latest version 2 for the aws cdk the aws developers always keep updating the version of aws cdk and you will have all the documentation the background the key concepts what, what are the various languages at the aws cdk supports as as i said in the previous video in the introduction it supports typescript it supports javascript python java c sharp and go so in this master class we are going to use typescript and the most important thing is we are going how to we are going to install the aws cdk so just click on the aws install aws cdk and to install aws cdk we have something called as npm install hyphen g aws cdk so this is a node package manager command which we are going to copy this command and we are going to install aws cdk on your machine so just try to copy this command and go to your command prompt and just paste this command okay so i already have aws cdk on my machine or on, on my laptop so i'm not going to install the aws cdk so you, are, you just need to copy paste the command from the aws documentation website and just you need to paste the command on your on your command prompt after installing the aws cdk it will take depending upon your in internet connection it will take almost two minutes to install aws cdk now the next thing is we are going to check the version let's check the version so i already have the cdk installed so the my version is 2.1.1.4.0 okay so 2.104.0 this is the i guess the latest version of aws cdk uh, it might differ here here and there if you are using the older version of aws cdk no issues we will we will still able to figure it out how we are going to uh, programmatically code the aws cdk functions or aws cdk lambdas if you are if you are installing if you are following this master class and if you are installing the aws cdk you will have this version okay so th these are the steps where we are we, are, we have installed aws cdk now let's see what what we have covered so far in this in this in this video okay so we have already installed node.js yes we have already seen the version okay of our node.js we have already installed the aws cli yes good we have already set up the profile on machine where we have created i am user correct and we have given the privileges okay to i am user as admin okay and we had created those we have downloaded those uh, those credentials like the secret key secret key id and the password on our machine and we have set up the uh, set up the access key id in the default region and we have generated the credentials file on our machine so we have done this with with the help of this we have with, with the help of this i am user we have done this set up the aws configuration good we have installed vs code from the website good and we have installed aws cdk with the help of the node package manager so we have covered all the steps in this video how we are going to achieve the environment setup for our aws cdk masterclass okay now if you have configured correctly if you have followed the video correctly you will be able to achieve this you, you will be able to achieve the environment setup successfully okay now 
you, if you wanted to check whether your environment setup is correctly configured or not so just try to copy this aws sts get caller hyper identity so after after copying this go to command prompt and try to paste this so once you fire this command it will dis display your user id your account id and your arn id so good job you have installed all the necessary steps where we have installed node.js where we have installed cli where we have installed cdk through npm node package manager we have installed visual studio code editor so good job congratulations we have successfully done the environment setup now in the next lecture we will do the practical implementation so stay tuned happy learning and please do like and share the content if you find this content very useful thank you